I'm Patrick Moyna with the latest news from across the Santa Clarita Valley. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. Could a new Costco be what the mall needs, or could it cost people's lives? George Rosaller checks out the risk. Valencia Westfield has submitted a plan to build a Costco on Citrus and Valencia, but a local group, Santa Clarita Safe and Strong, have filed a last-minute appeal with concerns about traffic. On January 21st, the Santa Clarita Planning Commission okayed the Patio Connection Project, a plan to replace the closed Sears with a Costco, a luxury cinema, and a health and fitness center. However, 10 days later, an appeal was filed by Santa Clarita Safe and Strong, a group comprised of residents and business owners across the planned site, who have taken issue with the proposal, especially with the increased traffic the expansion will bring. This is Citrus Now, where even with the closed Sears, a steady flow of traffic still occupies the street. Meanwhile, at the Costco, traffic is always busy in and out of the parking lot, especially at the gas station. But there's already a station on Citrus, a fire station, right across the street from the planned building site, which calls in the question whether or not the traffic in this expansion could be a major safety risk. I spoke to Dave Peterson and Jason Crawford of the City Plain Division. When asked about an increase in traffic in the area, they said new adjustments being made to major intersections as well as entrances and exits around the mall would overcompensate for this problem. For now, only time will tell. I'm George Ozoller with Canyon News. For people who want to learn more about Italy, two Santa Clarita residents have been bringing a bit of home to the community. Reporter Joey Neugebauer stopped by Serata Italiana to see what it is all about. Serata Italiana, or Italian Evening, is a group led by Alex Concas and Natalie Blancardi. They teach their students Italian grammar and culture while eating a delicious variety of Italian cuisine. The idea is to teach the real Italian, not the Italian that with all respect for Duolingo and, uh, and Teachers. Some this, and, you know, like, uh, it's very um, boring in a way, you know, and very structured and, you know, we have a way of making it fun and current and, um, and pleasurable, a pleasurable experience without mentioning that we like to cook. So they get also the food, yes, obviously, like you saw, they get the food, they get the wine, but it's the energy that we give them and I think that the energy that we put together, they feel it and they, they feed off of it. And we feed off of that in, in return because it just becomes a phenomenal event. It really does. It's honestly, Monday night is party night. <laughs> Both Alex and Natalie grew up in Italy, and for a few hours every Monday night, Alex and Natalie make Newhall feel a little more like home. Very so much experience doing this in Florida, so we exchanged this energy and this dream of bringing some Italy in Santa Clarita, and we made it happen. For Canyons News, I'm Joey Neugebauer. Do you have a talent for answering trivia questions? Well, Emily Berryhill gives us a glimpse of an event that happens weekly at Wolf Creek Brewery. Who is Michael Scott's favorite actress? Feel like you know the answer to that question? Well, Wolf Creek gives you the opportunity to test your knowledge every other Thursday or Friday. On this rainy night, many attended with their family and friends to answer various trivia questions about the office. Doors opened at 7.30 for everyone. Before that, people can enjoy beer crafting from Wolf Creek, play games, and eat food from different food trucks. It started with our um, just having free open Friday nights. And so Peter, who is in charge of the tent, thought about having trivia night, mm -hmm. and it's actually been very successful. Before you show up for trivia night, people do need a reserve beforehand, but the tickets are 100% free. All right, what team knows the office better than anybody else? Let's hear it. Who? They have many types of themes for people with various interests. They previously had trivia night dedicated to the 80s and music. Whatever is popular, what people are uh, into. Like the office. <laughs> like the office, which is a hit. I've been getting a lot of calls. The next trivia night is on March 5th and will be all things Disney. So if you're a fanatic, gather a team and show up next Thursday. For Canyon News, I'm Emily Berryhill. And that's the latest from the Canyons Newsroom. I'm Patrick Moyna. Join us March 18th for our live newscast of the semester.